Hey guys, welcome back to Carob Spice. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode. Today I'm going to share with you how I prepare a lasagna. Now, I know there's a traditional lasagna out there with just, you know, the the meat, the ground meat and the cheese, but this lasagna is going to be packed with um, some veggies. Um, it's just a great way to get some veggies in. Uh, the ingredients that I'm using, they are organic for the most part. They're lean. The meat, well, ground turkey or chicken, I'm not sure which one I have, or if I have both. Um, they're lean cut and also um, gluten-free or, you know, non-GMO products for the most part. So, I know a huge misconception out there is that the people who eat healthy um, they miss out they do not enjoy life um, or they need to have a cheap meal once in a while and the list of things that they should be doing and enjoying goes on and on and on and I'm here to tell you that eating healthy is not a bad thing um, I'm just really concerned that there's this misconception that for the people who choose to eat a little bit healthy or live a healthy lifestyle they're missing out on some major part of life and as I said, I'm not sure where that came from. Regardless, um, I feel like um, I can show you an option, a way of preparing a very um, full, you know, filling, healthy, tasty lasagna without depriving yourself of anything. And um, hopefully, you can take the recipe, you can try it, or even make it your own. As I said, you know, this is just how I prepare my lasagna. I don't want to hear, oh my gosh, she's doing this wrong or whatever. This is not a cooking channel. Um, I'm sharing with you my recipe. I'm sharing with you the things that um, have been working for me. And I'm sharing with you how I live. Um, this is just how we do things in my household. So hopefully you enjoy the video. Leave me a comment. Leave me a like. I'll try to go through things very quickly. So um, the video is not very long. But I do hope you appreciate it. And I hope to see you around in the next clip. <laughs> Bye guys. Okay, some of the main ingredients I'm using, obviously the lasagna. Um, the pasta is 100% whole grain. Um, and well, you get about 56 grams of whole grain per serving. And this is a very good source of fiber. Now, I do not have enough in here, so I'm also gonna use um, this one that I purchased from Whole Foods. And um, it is organic. And, um, you know, I like using this, but I think my preference is this one because it's, you know, 100% whole grain, regardless, um, good products, okay? Then I have a little bit of uh, sauce left, pasta sauce. I like using the one from um, Wild Oats. These guys produce really good products if you're into organic and um, healthier options. But the flavor that I like is basil tomato basil and I'm also going to use some of this one and um, the good old cheese but guess what I'm going to be using a vegan cheese now before you turn up your nose and roll your eyes um, this you know if I were to prepare this you might not even know the difference. It is that good. It tastes like the ordinary cheese, the ordinary cheddar cheese. Um, cheddar cheese, sorry, which I have had. And um, this is dairy, lactose, and casein free. It is also gluten and soy free. So, you know, if you have like, um, you know, issues with gluten products, this is a great option. And it's also cholesterol free. Um, Trans fat here measures at zero grams per serving and it's 90 calories. So it is a good option if you're looking at um, weight loss. I am not looking at weight loss. I just like using this option as an alternative um, to the regular cheddar cheese or any cheese. And the fat content is low and I think that is another plus for me. Um, some of you know that I just got off a bulk in April. I'm maintaining my weight and <clears throat> I don't want to have this um, big layer of fat to deal with, especially when it comes to cutting. So I am I'm meeting my, my daily requirement for my fat, my macros, 
but I, you know, I really try to not exceed that. And um, here, I think I'm gonna use the um, chicken. Uh, well, probably not. I'll probably use a turkey, but regardless, um, these two packets, um, they are antibiotic free. So the birds were, you know, antibiotic free. They were fed on a vegetarian diet. Uh, there are no um, animal byproducts in here and the birds were actually raised cage free. So I like using um, any product from Harvest Land um, for these, uh, these little perks. And as you know, as I said, guys, these are just my you know options. So that is for that. Then I'm also gonna put in there some mushrooms. So I have some mushrooms. I'm gonna use all of that. Um, some zucchini and some spinach. So I'll show you how I I prepare that. I'm gonna go ahead and get the meat seasoned up and on the fire on the stove. And I'm also gonna get that pasta going. Okay. You can just season however you want. I like using a lot of garlic when I'm seasoning, so I just really like garlic. I think garlic gives food a re you know a good flavor. And again, I'm a huge fan of um, wild oats. <clears throat> a little bit of salt. And I'm just using sea salt, some fine sea salt, and the only other thing I'm going to put in here, and I have an assortment of seasonings, um, is some garlic herb seasoning by Mrs. Dash. Get that mixed in. So you want to brown the meat with um, a few cloves of garlic, fold the meat in, get it fully covered with some oil, um, you know you just want to brown the meat just a little bit. Then get your pasta going in some salt water and while that meat is cooking down, add your veggies, so your mushrooms, zucchini, here I'm just pouring out the water, the pasta is actually done. Go ahead and add your veggies, your spinach, whatever else you want to add in. And um, make sure you bring your stove down to a um, low heat or fire. Add your pasta sauce at this time, just kind of add everything in, let it simmer. Okay, you want the flavors to infuse and oh my gosh, that tastes so good right there. You can actually just serve that with um, spaghetti, you know, just kind of like um, on a dish or as a dish and then the last thing left to do is to layer the lasagna so I'm using um, a pan that is just or dish sorry that is large enough just to hold three strips of lasagna at a time and I was able to make about three layers so add the um, grounded chicken kind of overlap the pasta so the meat or the chicken in my case does not sit through Add cheese and you keep alternating like that and I was able to get three layers remember I'm using vegan cheese in this case and go ahead and serve with your favorite side dish or whatever and in this case I use some sliced cucumbers so thank you for watching